up, fam. Fam. I hate that word. <laughs> I don't know why. I just do. What's up, fam? Fam. Okay, so, hello. We're vlogging today. God, can you see me? I can't tell. It's really bright. My uh, camera. Oh, are we racing? Yeah. My camera um, is probably going to overheat a lot because of the sun. I hate this camera. I can't wait to get a new vlog camera. I will be getting a new vlog camera at some point in time. But today, I have a lot of things to do, errands to run. So that's what we finna gonna do. I have a lot of stuff to get. I have to get, what do I have to get? I'm glad I made a fucking list. I have to get macrame cord because I'm making like macrame curtains for our borrowed light, apparently that's what it's called. Those little windows on each side of your door. Uh, my dog will not stop barking at people walking by and I, it's driving me crazy. So I'm gonna put some like macrame curtains there. I've already made one side. I just gotta make the other side, but I ran out of cord. So I gotta stop at the Hoblobs and get some macrame cord. I have to get, what else? I think I may or may not stop at Ulta today and get some stall. I know there's a lot of stall that I need to get. I'm looking for, I, which I'll also look at Hot Blobs and possibly um, TJ Maxx. So, I went to this nursery, which is like the most beautiful, glorious nursery like in our area. They have the most wonderful plants that you never find anywhere around here. Like cool ass shit, jade trees and... They're, the way that they design them and the way that they pot them is just so, so nice. So fucking nice. So I'm going to not go there. <laughs> I'm going to look for something that I saw there. I'll pull it up on my phone when we park. I found there this, they had like these certain plants. I think it's called like donkey's tail or something like that. The plant that I got. And then they had the center of it was like I don't know what this plant is exactly I'm thinking it's like some kind of species of aloe I don't know I need mean, do you guys know if there's like an app on your phone that's like a plant finder where you can like take a picture of a plant and it like tells you what it is that would be amazing if that was a thing is that a thing do you guys know anyway uh so they had this thing and it was like this ring with like, I don't know how to explain it. I'll, I'll show you on my phone. if I, t I think I took a picture of it because when I seen it, I was like, I can make that. And it was super expensive. So I just thought I could probably make that for so much cheaper. Uh, but I can't because I can't find the fucking thing to put it on. It's making me upset that I can't find it. So now it's either I go into Hobby Lobby and fucking magically find it or I'm going to get something else. I thought about getting one of those like lanterns or whatever because they had those too and it was so pretty. Um, like the lanterns, you know what I'm talking about? The lanterns. I can't think of anything else to call it. But it's got like plants coming out of it and stuff. You know, like the little farmhousey lanterns that sometimes people sit. Why is my nose running? That sometimes people sit, you know, like in their garden or like in their landscaping or whatever. Some people just like randomly set them around their house. But I'm not like soups into a farmhouse. So I, but I do like it for outside. So I thought about getting one of those and taking the glass out and like planting it in there. They had the coolest like geometric thing. I don't know. Let me show you on my phone. Let me pull the picture up. We'll see if it is. Wow. This is like the best angle ever. Okay. But I, I wanted to be close so I could show you. So this is, oh my God. Isn't that so cute? Is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen? Come on, Funkins. Funkins. Am I too close to the lens maybe? There. Is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen? I love it so much. So I've got some of this and then I got a little aloe plant I want to put in the middle of it. Or there's this one too. Is that so fucking cute? Let me zoom in. But I can't find this little geometric thing without the glass, which sunks. Um, But God, they're just like... Some of the stuff that they have there is just so goddamn cute that I just, I can't take it. I can't take it. So I am at Hoblobs now. 
aka Hobby Lobby. And am I touching the mic? I don't think so. I'm going to go up in here and see if I can find something similar to that. Which I don't think I will because, uh, truth time, I have been here like twice looking for it. But they were like out of stock on a bunch of their lanterns last time I came. So I'm going to try to see if we can make something of this. Okay, I am going to go because there's somebody right beside me and they're staring at me. So, uh, yeah, she's still looking. Okay, so I'll be back. Okay. I just went ahead and went to TJ Maxx, too, because they're, like, right beside each other. So, I literally would have been in the car for, like, two seconds. Uh, so, I got... Uh, this is stuff that I was not looking for on my list. So, I got this little potter. Let me move this shit out of the way, because I got a little bit of thank you, girl. I'll show you. So, I got this little potter here, and it was only $15.99, which I could not believe. That is a really good fucking price for that. I got that because I have a snake plant that is still in the nursery pot. He's still in his nursery pot. And at first I thought I wanted to put it in a basket, but then see, this is like where my ADD fucking just sets on fire. Cause I thought I wanted to put it in a basket and I had found a basket. And then I saw this, I live in a very small rural area and these pots are really, really hard to find. And especially like at that price, because Ceramic pots are insanely expensive, but I'm hoping my uh, snake plant will fit in here because I want to make, you know, those pots that have like the little, burp, 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 like the little wooden plant stand thing, my thingers. That's where my ADD comes in because I see the basket and I was like, ooh, I found a basket. And then I seen that and I'm like, ooh, I want to make a plant stand. That's what I'm going to do with that because these type of pots, like these straight circular pots are the best ones to use for plant stands. And then I just got my macrame core, my macklemore. We call it macklemore. That's what Tim and I call it, macklemore. And then I got this kind of macklemore cord. But it this is $4.99. It's so much softer. Um, but it's only 75 feet, and those are 100 feet. I plan on ordering some online, like in bulk, 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 so I can make more shit. Uh, for because I want to do an Etsy store eventually I just have to build up my inventory um, and then I got these baskets because I have palms in my living room on either side of the fireplace and they're in these like big giant baskets and they were initially those baskets were intended to just be temporary until I found some nicer baskets because they were just like really cheap thin baskets that I have purchased at at home I think it was and I just never got around to like getting better baskets so I found these they were only $12.99 a peach thank you TJ Maxx fuck me up girl so and I found two like ones because I've actually been looking at this basket for probably like the past month at TJ Maxx. You know, sometimes they get in repeats and stuff. I've been looking at this basket like, God, I wish there was a fucking same one. What do I want to say? I wish there was like a fucking twin. I wish I had another one. Uh, so I found it. And then I got these. Is this not the cutest thing ever? I am going to plant herbs in this because I've been wanting to do like a little herb eerie herbiary <laughs> get it herbiary super funny today uh, i wanted to get a little herb thing or my thing um for my kitchen to for to use fresh herbs and stuff like that and i've been wanting to do that for a while but i haven't found anything that i thought was like super cute to like put in there to plant them in but that is like super fucking cute i know it's probably for condiments or something like that because it's tommy bahama so it's most likely to put like stuff in for outside but whatevs then i got some of these these i thought were so cute because i really fuck with like the birkenstock deal but i look stupid in birkenstocks because they're i don't know i don't know what it is i can't flex with a birkenstock birkenstock but i thought these were cute because they're kind of like dressier type Birkenstocks you know and they are super comfy and they're Madden girl and they're really fucking cute and they were only 25 bucks and I'm pretty sure that's real leather so I can fuck that up girl yes Veronica I can't fuck that up and I just got some dog tweets 
because I always, whenever I go to TJ Maxx, I get dog tweets. Okay, so off to Minards. Um, so I did not find my little, uh, what's it called? What is that called? Lantern. I did not find my lantern at Hop Lobs, which I am sorely disappointed in. They were gone. Like they had this whole, they must be like stripping the wax in their floors or something because they had this whole fucking aisle of like big gigantic ass lanterns and like cool stuff, but it was gone. They have pillows. Like, yes, I say pillow, not pillow because I'm a fucking Billy. I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, they had pillows like in the aisle where the lanterns were. And I'm like, where the fuck are all these lanterns? Dude, I walked around the entire store and there were no motherfucking lanterns. I was so upset, Veronica. Like what happened to all the lanterns? They just sell them all out and then just say, fuck it, what the fuck? I found some, oops. I found a couple smaller ones, but I think they're too small because I have three plants that I have to put in this thing and they're just too small. I found a bowl at Myers, I think it was. It's like a planter bowl that I thought about using that and then just doing a macrame, macklemore, uh, hanger thinger, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I thought about doing that, but I just got a hanging plant at Menards. That's why I got that other Macklemore. Like, not the one that was wrapped up, but the one that was only 75 feet and softer. I got that because I got a hanging plant that I want to put in my kitchen. So, I am off to Menards because I have to get... What do I have to get? Let me check my list real quick. I've got to get hooks to, like, hang my hanging plant on. I also want to get, like, the dowel rods to make the stand for that which I don't have a pen I probably should write that down because the bitch gonna forget because I got the ADD let's see let's see um planters for my palms so they are in their nursery pots still and they're just not looking the best in there like they I don't know I don't know what it is but I want to put it in an actual pot hopefully a pot that'll fit that basket uh they're not looking the best. I want to add some potting soil that has, cause I think I just got them at like Lowe's or something. And I don't think the soil that's in there is, um, fertilized soil or whatever. Like, I don't think it has, you know how like the good, good soil has a little fertilizer bulbs or whatever plant food bulbs in it. I don't think that has that. So there, I don't know. The dirt in my pot is not looking good. And I feel like they need a little bit better dirt in there. A little bit better dirt so that grow a little bit better. They are not doing the greatest because, and I know why. It's because palms are a highlight plant and I have them in a low light situation. So I may just have to start putting them in front of the window during the day and then moving them back at night just so they can get a little bit more sun or even taking them outside and putting them outside during the day and then bringing them in at nighttime because they just need a little more sun, I think is what it is. Um, what else? Got my Macklemore cord. Oh, wax. I have to get the wax for that chair. I found some at Hobby Lobby because y'all remember my last video where I had said, hey, look what I did to this chair. I fucked it up. I like painted it and shit and it's real cute. So apparently to not make it transfer, you have to buy some sort of wax. I'm not really sure what it is. And I found this like cream wax at Hobby Lobby and it, I, I don't know if that's what it is or not. And I don't want to put it on there and then fuck it up. I saw one bitch using Mod Podge. Like, wouldn't you think that would make it like all hard and stuff? I don't know. I don't know. So I have to find like this wax. I don't, I don't even know what I'm looking for, but I'm gonna look up a YouTube video of this chick that I watched that like painted her chair or whatever. Um, and she used like some kind of wax. She tells you like what kind of wax to get or whatever. And then I also have to get potting soil. Uh, and I think that's it. Oh, planner. Oh yeah. That was my planner for my aloe and my succulents. So now I wish I had a pen. Uh, I want to get those dowel rods for, you know, that to stand, plant stand. There was, oh, I want to get my herbs. Oh, God, I wish I had a pen. Because <laughs> I don't go forget this shit when I've been here. Because, girl, 
I have, oh, and I need to get a bee house. I gotta get a bee house. Um, I told you, my fucking ADD is on fire. This grill is on fire. God, I, I really don't have a pen in here. Fuck, man. I might have one in here from filling out graduation cards. <laughs> oh, yes, I do. Okay, what did I say I needed? My herbs. What uh, What was the other thing? Oh, what was it? Oh, my bee house, bee house, bee house. I went to, I looked for a bee house at TJ Maxx. Um, if you don't know what a bee house is, it's basically this, it looks like a birdhouse, but it has like all these little... I don't know they look like bamboo shoots little circles and if you have carpenter bees that deters them from drilling into your wood because a carpenter bee like puts these holes in your wood and they make like little homes in there so if you have a bee house um it deters them from doing that because they make their little homes in the bee house so we have a bunch of carpenter bees so i'm trying to find uh, a little bee house to so they could put their home in and not put their home in my fucking pergola. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want a bunch of holes with bees in it in my pergola. I thought there was also, other than the bee house, something else that I wanted at Menards, but I can't remember what it is. Oh, I have to take this back, actually. Oh my god, it's so heavy. The only thing I don't like about this pot is that it doesn't have drainage. I knew that it, that was going to happen. I knew it was going to get real hot. My camera got real fucking hot. I was just saying that. This doesn't have drainage, so I'm gonna leave my snake plant in the nursery pot. Um, I have to take this back because our shower head is dripping and we thought the guy uh, that fixed our toilet, because our toilet had come off the base. The dude that like did some of the stuff in our house, like put our uh, toilet on and like our sink, our kitchen sink, whatever, he fucked up a lot of stuff because he didn't know what the fuck he was doing. He said he was, he did. It was one of Tim's employees, but anyway, um, I gotta take this back because the guy that we have oh no Tim said to keep it right oh he did say to keep it because he's gonna have a plumber come look at it never mind I don't have to take that back see y'all this is my brain my brain is mush <laughs> let's just put that out there okay I'm gonna go before my camera overheats again I will be back okay I had to kind of rush because Tim called and he wants to go tanning before uh He's, he's got choring to do, is what he calls it. His yard work, basically. He's got to mow and trim and do all that kind of stuff. He's got choring to do, and he wants to go tanning beforehand because he doesn't want to go to the tanning bed all gross. I usually do... I think I'm going to try the lay-down bed tonight because I usually do the stand-up bed. And here's the thing. I, I, okay, so last year we used to go to this tanning spot... Last year I started tanning because we were getting ready to go to Florida and I didn't want to be fucking miserable in Florida by like getting burnt on my first day there. So I made sure to tan really, really well before we went because the sun down there is a lot stronger than it is in Ohio. So when we first started tanning, we went to this tanning bed that um, coincidentally my friend had just stumbled upon because he had a detailing service and bought this building <clears throat> and building came with like a tanning salon and tanning beds uh, and his wife just happened to run tanning beds like in Indiana so she knew how to do it although the beds I will say were from like 1992 because they was very old but they tanned me really well but I always did the stand-up one uh, oh and these new beds see I get thinking about other stuff girl these new beds though because i was used to these like beds from 1992 right there wasn't nothing special about them they like cut off at your ankles so you had to like lift your foot up in order to like tan your feet and shit <laughs> they were bad they were very old so uh we go to this new place because that place closed down i don't know what happened i don't know anything uh it was just a guy that i know you know it wasn't he was more of an acquaintance than a friend but anyways who cares um so we go to this new place, right? And their fucking beds are like alien spacecrafts. They are insane. They got like people in them that talk to you. They got music and fan. Oh, the fans, dude. The fans. In the old place that we went to last year, there was like a little crack in the door, like this big, where you have shut the doors. And they had like an old ass box fan sitting in there that just barely fucking blew air onto. It was so hot in there. 
and these are so nice. There's like fans all over the place. It's very nice. But anyways, I do the stand-up bed because uh, I don't I don't want to do the lay-down bed. I never wanted to do the lay-down lay down bed for various reasons. Reason number one, uh, I can't bear the thought of someone's snaked ass body laying down on it and like this hand and people not cleaning it off good enough. So then I'll be laying my naked ass body down where somebody else they had laid their naked ass body down and it just kind of weirds me out. Okay. Uh, reason numero dos. I feel like this is just a theory, my conspiracy allegedly that if I am in a lay down bed, I, all my fat will spread <laughs> and parts of my body will not get tan. Like the inner thighs of my legs, like the arms, like my arms, my inner arms, because all my fat spreads when I lay down and then it just all mushes together and then I'll have all these white spots everywhere. So I much prefer the stand up bed. However, my mom has said, Oh my God, you need to do the lay down bed because I got so much tanner. So, and I don't go super consistency, consistency. I don't go super consistent. Um, we go probably once or twice a week, which I should be going more than that because I pay a fuck ton a lot of money to go. Um, but we only go like a couple of times a week. I'm going to start going more consistently now, but we've just been so busy lately that we just haven't had time. So good thing I fucking took my list into... Menards. The thing I was forgetting on my list was the dowel rods in order to make the plant stand that I did not write down on my list, but I got it and I got my bee house. Ooh, and I also got a butterfly house. I didn't know a butterfly house was a thing, but I got it. So I'm super excited to give a little home to my butterflies. So we have this tree in our dog yard that has so many bees and butterflies around it. So it must be a very pollinated tree because yesterday I just sat and stared at it for like a half an hour. It's just butterflies everywhere. So I was like, ooh. I want a butterfly house. Okay, so I am home now. I gotta run in and uh, Tim's probably, that was probably Tim texting me like, where the fuck you at? I wanna go tan, it looks like it's gonna rain and I gotta mow. So I possibly may be back later, maybe not, maybe, maybe not. I probably will, cause I wanna show you guys a couple of things. So I will see you a little bit. I'm back. It is very dark and dreary. It is dumping, can you hear it? It's dumping rain outside right now, so I can't show you my snow. <laughs> But I'll show you tomorrow. So I'm going to cut it off tonight. Let me, how do I say this? I'm going to cut the vlog off and then I'll be back tomorrow on this vlog. This right here, right there. I'll be back here tomorrow. So for me, it'll be an entire night. For you, it'll be like two seconds. And I will see you when hopefully it's not dumping down rain. It's supposed to rain for like the next two days. But... Hopefully I can get a dry spot in and be able to show you guys what I was talking about. I'll show you my landscaping and stuff. So, okay, I'm going to go because I'm going to cook supper uh, and do all that. Oh, that's a little bit better. The kitchen looks dreary as fuck, but what else? So I'm going to go and cook my subs and then I'll see you guys tomorrow, okay? <laughs> yeah. <gasps> I was so weird. Hello, how are you? Good morning. It's actually not the next day. It's the day after the next day. And I'm editing. Uh, and what I have found is we have a little bit of a debacle. A little, little debacle. Not like a hide your kids, hide your wife, they're raping everybody up in here debacle. But it's a debacle to say the least. So apparently when, because I had actually filmed the next day uh showing you guys all my landscape and stuff and being a weirdo in front of my neighbors filming my landscape and now i'm gonna have to go do that all over again uh apparently it was like hella windy out that day and you can hear dick all like it's all you can hear is like wah, 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 from the wind you know so i think what i'm gonna do because of that because i don't have time to do it today because I wanted to get this edited and uploaded today and Tim's going to be home probably in like an hour or so. Uh, because I don't have time to do it today, I think what I'm going to do is just do like a landscaping video if you guys would like to see that. I was so surprised on my get ready with me how many of you guys were like, yes bitch, show us the landscape and I love that shit. I'm so excited. Um, 
So I think what I'm going to do is do that in just its own video, like vlog style. Um, and I was thinking too that I might just do like a before and after of the outside of our house because as it looks, it looks finished, but there are some things that we want to change and obviously some things that I said my landscaper, you know, didn't do um, that we have to go over and still do, which y'all will see in the video, but there's also some things that we want to like change around. So, but as of, as looking as an onlooker, uh, it looks finished. So if you guys would like to see that, cause it looks like a completely different house. Like we painted it, we put new fixtures, light fixtures. We, um, completely ripped out all the landscaping that was there and put new landscaping in. So let me know if y'all would be interested in that, which you seem like you are. Also, what I do with the box. I thought about filming a video on this. This is the Orly Gel FX Builder in a Bottle. It's new by Orly and it's kind of like acrylics. Um, it wouldn't be like a tutorial or anything because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I do have a little bit of experience with like acrylics and glue-ons and whatever else, but this is like a whole other ballpark because you use forms, like nail forms. Uh, where are they? What did I do with them? Here they are. You use like these things, these nail forms like this. So if you guys would want to see a video of me just trying it out and most likely being a, a gigantic disaster, then let me know that and I can film that too. I was actually going to film that today, um, but I ended up being on the phone uh, this morning for quite a while because <laughs> I was talking to Tim and I was talking to my cousin so um and Tim's going to be home here shortly so I uh when he gets home we're going to get ready and go to like a little festival or whatever um so let me know if you want to see that also another video that I wanted to ask about because I've got a list of like videos that I need to film but another one I wanted to ask you guys about is I quit keto um I stopped doing keto, is this the first week or this? This might be the second week that I stopped. I think it's the second week that I stopped keto. Uh, and oddly enough, I feel so much better not doing it. It's so fucking weird. And I'm like losing more weight. Like I started doing it, not necessarily to lose weight, but just to feel better and to eat better and whatever else. Um, and I'll go into in that video, but dude, I, there's like, I got some fucked up things about the keto that I think I would like to put out into the world. Cause maybe you guys like deal with this type of shit when you was on it. I was on it for two months or three months, maybe three months, I think. Uh, and I would like to talk about it. So if you guys are interested in that and why I quit and whatever else, then je let me know that too. Uh, okay, I think that's it, right? Yes, I believe that that's it. So, sorry this vlog got cut off, but I couldn't help it because of the wind. I was going to do a voiceover, and then that idea of just doing the landscaping, like, in one video kind of popped into my head. I don't know how long, let me see how long the video is. The video as it stands is 30 minutes long, so it's long. And had I added the landscaping to it, it probably would have ended up being an hour long anyway. So um, I think it's long enough to put up. So that's what's up. That's it. All right. So let me know if you guys want to see those videos in the comments below. Or you can just say, hey, bitch, what's up? What you doing? How's it going? Um, that's it. Okay. Outro beauty guru things. And liking it if you did or dislike it if you didn't and that's it okay i'm done talking now i think yes all right i like you guys thank you for watching i will catch you guys in my next one peace